Finding out you have cancer is a scary thing. Reporter Sonia Gowen shows us how a spur of the moment mammogram at a mall turned into a journey surviving breast cancer. Because I modeled in the 70s, you know, I've always been into watch what you eat, watch what you drink. Pamela Weems is a 60-something former beauty consultant with four adult children. She's also a breast cancer survivor. It never hits you until it hits home. I never really paid attention until it hit home. Weems was diagnosed in 1997 after getting a mammogram on a whim at the Mall of America. And they were often a free gift. If you go down to the Sage Clinic and you get a breast exam. That unexpected gift saved her life. The clinic called her back for an ultrasound after spotting something suspicious. It showed that I was stage four breast cancer. Her world temporarily fell apart. That moment was dark. The world stopped. My life stopped. She went through four months of chemo and removal of the diseased breast. It was the worst thing I could ever happen to a person. Twelve years later, Weems discovered a lump in the other breast. It felt like it was huge, but you know, when I went in, it was the size of a pinhead. It was so small. The cancer was called early enough she didn't have to go through chemo, but she did have the diseased breast removed. She also decided not to get reconstructive surgery. My scars to me, they're like my battle wounds, you know, it's a war that I've gone through. Although it's been 21 years since the diagnosis, emotions are still raw. It's a lot, you know, when you look at your kids, you look at your mom, you look at your family. She prayed her way out of the darkness, surrounded by the love of her family. My family was there. My mother was there 24-7. She now uses her struggles to help others succeed. Ten years ago, the survivors started a group called Pink Ladies, which focuses on breast cancer awareness in the African-American community. There are more Caucasian women that are diagnosed with breast cancer, but there are more of us who die from it and I want to save our sisters. The group holds Think Pink parties with free mammograms and fundraising, celebrating life, never taking one minute for granted. I'm here and I'm so thankful. <laughs> Sonia Goins, CCX News. <laughs> One in eight women in the U.S. will be diagnosed with breast cancer in her lifetime. We have more information about breast cancer and the Pink Ladies on our website, ccxmedia.org.